Hey, what's up folks? Jesse with Southern Reels Fishing and I just wanted to do a quick video today talking about the setup for the Panoptics Live Scope Transducer that I have on my new center console uh, Key West 230BR Bay boat that I have here. It's a little bit different than the setup video that I did in my kayak. Same principle, different parts and components and it's actually a little bit easier the way it's assembled. The main reason I had to change it is one, I needed one that was longer of course that would reach down below the bottom of the boat and the piping on the kayak setup that I built for 25 bucks was actually too flimsy I thought for that because I fish in a lot of current at times and a lot of times I'm actually motoring at idle along structure using this with it deployed as a side scan so I can scan quickly I had a feeling that it would want to flex more which would kind of distort the readings and stuff so I've kind of beefed everything up a little bit but it's the same principle pretty much what it is is two pieces of PVC pipe here that are direct from Lowe's they come in five foot lengths I believe it is the outer pipe is an inch and a quarter PVC and the inner pipe is a one inch PVC awesomely enough the one inch slips right through the inch and a quarter just as pretty with just enough clearance for it to spin free so it's like perfect setup for it. Pretty much all I had to do was, you know, mock it up on the boat, get it as high up here as I wanted this. I basically have this set so when I'm standing at the console, I can just reach right over with my hand and turn it and be looking at the screen right here and still manage to steer the boat all at the same time. So it's perfect the way it's set up. I have the little cap and everything up here on the top with a mark on it that indicates which way the actual transducer is facing. And I can pretty much spin it all the way around 360 with this particular setup. So it works all Awesomely enough. But anyway, let me show you the setup close up what I got going here. All right, folks, here's the close up view of the whole setup pretty much. Starts here at the top. I have a threaded fitting at the top of it so I can actually change this top piece if I want to. It'll thread right off of this fitting. This is actually glued to the one inch inside pipe that's inside of here. So if I decided I wanted to put like a T handle or, or for any reason I wanted to change it, I can pretty easily. You can see the indexing mark that I have on the top of it to basically keep track of where the transducer is facing. I've got it mounted on a, a ram mount setup once again here, as you can see. Now this is the two and a quarter inch ram ball setups, I believe it is. I think it's size D. This is actually made for mounting a pretty large sonar head unit up on the console, like up there. I actually purchased this a while back to use on my old kayak that I had and realized it was much too heavy duty. So it's kind of just been sitting in the drawer since, but it's definitely strong enough to support this arm when it's deployed even when you're cruising along with the big motor running kind of trolling it'll definitely keep this arm straight down where you have it set up i pretty much just drilled a couple little notches in it as you can see and just bought some stainless clamps from lowe's and use those to just get it working it works but i can tell you i really don't like that these edges stick out right here i kind of sanded them down the best i could and i'll show you how i stored this in a minute but it already put a little scratch inside of my gel coat which i wasn't too happy about so i'm going to do something different with that i don't know if i'm going to wrap it with some rubber or plasti dip it or something or i just may change the way that mounts but anyway it works for now all right i kind of tilted it out away from the boat so we can see it a little bit better i pretty much just have the the uh, cable zip tied to the pipe that goes right down I leave the bottom two foot or so not zip tied so it can rotate freely. The transducer pretty much just mounts right around that one inch inside pipe just as perfect. So this right here actually clamped on is acting as the stop on the inner pipe to keep it from sliding up. And it's easy to take loose if you want to take that pipe out for any reason. And then of course the glued on fitting right here at the top is what stops the pipe from sliding down. So pretty much once I just figured out the length that I needed to be I just cut the two pipes down with a hacksaw glued that top fitting on, clamped the transducer on the bottom down here, and it was good to go. And as far as how I had it mounted, this was me just improvising with what I had. So, you know, you just gotta kinda use what you got sometimes. All right, folks, as you can see, I'm in that boat right now, so I can very easily reach right over and turn this thing and adjust it, point it any direction that I want, all the way underneath the boat. I can still very easily steer the boat. I can comfortably see my screen from my depth finder right here on the console. So it's just a perfect setup, perfect height right here for it. When I'm done using it, or if I'm moving spots or something, all I gotta do is just loosen this clamp right here. And I can take and rotate this right up. And just set it right up there nice and easy. Just clamp it back down and I can move spots or go to wherever I wanna go. It's just an awesome setup, it works perfect for me. On this boat, I have the black box for the live scope system on a separate switch, accessory switch. When I'm not using that, I go ahead and I kill the power to it. What that does, it cuts a lot of draw off the batteries, which in this boat ain't too big of a deal. 
kayak it's definitely a big deal but it also keeps it because when this thing's out of the water it constantly is going through a scan cycle trying to figure out what's going on and i noticed that i don't know it just kind of bugged me i just felt better about killing the power to it when i'm not using it and it doesn't hurt the system at all when you throw the power back on it takes about 10 seconds for it to boot up and you're pretty much good to go at that point when i'm done with the unit for the day all i have to do is just loosen this up there that just slips right off like that i'll take this and just stick it in the console and then down here let me show you what i got going on all right folks what i did is basically took this upper rod holder here and modified it a little bit all i had to do is cut the little tips off right here and here it allows me to store this when i'm not using it very securely the wire for the system actually comes through the very front up here underneath this gonal or whatever this is called is where the wire passes through and goes down into the center console of course but yeah this unit pretty much i can just take it slip these right in here like so do the same thing on that just rotate that right up where that ball's up underneath of here the system is stored and out of the way and then I can transport it and it's just a nice quick way to store it when you're not using it. Pretty much up out of the way here. I mean this does stick out just a little bit but it's never bothered me. But yeah, that's pretty much the setup that I got. Just to show you up close, you can pretty much see what I did. I just modified that there a little bit to where it would fit. It don't fit all the way down in there but with these straps on it, it's not going anywhere. Pretty much the same up here on the front and then up underneath there you can see unfortunately a pretty sizable hole i had to drill to get the connector for the transducer through because it's huge but that's something that up under there really should never cause any problems and i'll probably seal it up with something some marine sealing or something but anyway for now it works and also you can see the few screws that i had to put in this i really wasn't too happy about having to drill holes in my boat but you know it's it is what it is sometimes when you're mounting stuff you just have to do it Yep, that's the setup there, pretty much how I store it. Well, there you go, folks. That's pretty much the setup on my Key West boat that I got here. It works great for me. It was very cheap to do. The most expensive part of it was the ram mount that I got. I think it was right at 100 bucks. honestly. You don't have to use that. The actual PVC in a rotating part is the part that's really cheap to build. It's corrosion proof because it's all PVC pretty much. If you need to add friction to the two pipes, the trick to that is at the very top underneath that fitting, just do a wrap or two of electrical tape is what I do. Just enough to just kind of snug it up a little bit. That way it'll stay where you set it pretty much if you're in current or something like that. There were plenty of other ways you could probably rig the mounting of it up. Something like this integrated rod holder that's right here. Just finding you a piece of PVC pipe that would slide in down into that integrated rod holder and just put a T fitting on the arm for the transducer that you made, you know, right where that U clamp and everything is that I had, just put an inch and a quarter T fitting there, you know, and the, the center pipe's gonna pass right through it and it's still gonna rotate and that, and then you can pretty much branch off of that towards your boat with any mounting solution that you can come up with whether you have another piece of pvc that slips into a rod holder or if you just clamp it to your pipe with a quick clamp or something i don't know whatever you can come up with but this is the solution that i had it works awesome for me so anyway thanks for watching i hope this helped out if you have any questions hit me up peace